Hello everyone, my name is Nymphina and welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today I thought we'd do another bout of terraforming and today I've actually created a lake on my island that I think looks really really cute and really lovely. Hopefully the intro is a little bit shorter than normal, you know, remember to like, comment and subscribe because we're on the road to 100 subscribers and I'll be doing a giveaway once we get there so hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's jump into today's episode and I really hope you enjoy! So to begin with, I start by pencilling out where I want the edges of my river and lake to be. Creating a diagonal bridge was a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be because I wasn't too sure on the dimensions of what I would need so I kept just you know playing and playing and making it bigger and smaller as it needed to be and eventually I got a bridge size that I was quite happy with. While I was going, of course, I was penciling out where I also wanted other bits of the cliff faces to go from what I've done in previous builds. I also decided that I wanted like a little bit of a fishing pier thing within my island so that, you know, you could go fishing at the lake if you wanted to. I also decided I thought it would be really cute to have like a little mini island in the middle of my lake so I decided to make one with just a single tree on the top of it and then pencil out like a little outline piece of land that you could potentially go and sit on when you jump over the stepping stones which I put on a little bit later. As you watch me do this, I just want to bring up the subject which we've all been a bit hyped about of Animal Crossing and Build a Bear collaborating. I am so excited for this and I'm going to be really sad if they don't do a Celeste Teddy because she is my absolute favourite. She's just, she's so cute and so sweet and loves the stars. How could you not love that? Again, while you watch me just, you know, pencil and play and, you know, modify as we go, I just want to bring up another thing. I've been de debating on whether I want to potentially put a face cam into my videos, but I'm not too sure. I mean, I have the hardware, I have the, the camera for it, but I'm just not sure whether to actually do it just yet. So let me know, guys. Let me know if you'd want me to potentially put a face cam on in my videos because, you know, I'm not too fussed to leave it as like a crazy thing of, you know, face cam in the beginning in, in, in a special thing. Just let me know, I think it'll be really fun if potentially you guys like it. I decided while I was obviously playing with doing stuff with the stepping stones that I wanted actually a few of them to have some physical things on so you couldn't actually hop from place to place so you kind of need a vaulting pole now to get to this middle island but I think that just adds a little bit of adventure to it.
medical up here obviously I missed out a little bit of recording but I managed to find this really nice like wood custom pattern on uh, I think it was on Pinterest or something and I really loved it because I thought it added like a little bit of oh, this is like a designated spot that there is for people to go fishing. Now, as you can see, we're just getting into the part of the video where I'm just placing things down randomly until I find what looks good. So I hope you enjoy and potentially get some ideas of what you could do for placement of things on your islands. I'm also, as you can see, time traveling to different days. This was a speed build, let me just say, it definitely 100% was. I just kept time traveling because I had things that I was building at the same time and kind of started getting bored of like specific days because, you know, it was just, you get bored of specific days sometimes. So I was just time traveling to the next few days so that I could get them things built because I paid them off. I also love having like these little bits of areas where there's flowers being planted and like two people doing a bit of gardening. I incorporated it in my Lily video when I decorated around her house. So if you potentially like that idea as well and you like, you know, the idea of me decorating around Lily's house, go check out that video. Once again guys, I don't know about you, but I absolutely love incorporating picnics into my designs and my terraforming. I think they look really cute and add this natural feel to the world because I really am going for this like natural and potentially cottage core, you could say, vibe. So let me know what you think. As well, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been trying to incorporate like kind of different flower colour schemes around different areas. So, you know, around my main entrance was pink and white, Lily's area was also pink and white. But around this lake area, I've decided to do blue and white. I'm always going to be incorporating white and another colour into the areas, but there's obviously a few flowers and colours that are a little bit ugly, so I'm just going to try and not put them into it. <coughs> Pansies! So as you can see, I think that my lake turned out really, really well. I really like the fact that I have this little sticking out fishing point here with the overview of the, the tree in the middle of the lake. I think it all looks really lovely and adds a bit of like that natural vibe to the world. Let me know in the comments down below what your favourite part of this build was because, like I probably said during the video, I love this island in the middle of it. I think it looks absolutely adorable and it's like a little private area that you can get to if you obviously have a vaulting pole. But with that guys, I am going to leave today's episode here. I really hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment and subscribe because we'll be doing a giveaway once we hit 100 subscribers. We're nearly there, we're over halfway guys. I'm thinking this weekend on Saturday when I normally upload, I might do an episode of Stardew Valley. I've never played the game before and I saw people in my previous videos when I asked what games I should play, they suggested Stardew Valley so let me know in the comments down below as well if you're excited for that because I'm really excited. I've seen little bits of gameplay but I'm going to be going in completely blind so I hope you'll join me for that.
But anyway, remember to have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I'll catch you in the next episode.